This one of one maroon Hemi Power GTX, still carrying its original numbers matching engine, offers an incredible combination of performance and exclusivity that you just won't find anywhere else. Clearly, the original buyer of the sinister Plymouth knew exactly what he wanted, and after he finished checking the options list, he ended up with one gorgeous ride that had an unusual combination of luxury features and performance hardware. The restoration was carried out over a period of 10 years and eventually completed in 2010 by the guys at our very own Arcade Motors Restoration in Minner, Ohio. Obviously a solid body to begin with, there were no wholesale panel replacements, just a few patches in the rear quarters and the usual trouble spots. Panel alignment is very good, and thanks to the way old school slab sided Mopars were built, the doors close with a solid feeling that you just can't find anymore. The high gloss burgundy metallic paint is simply stunning in person, with a deep, rich shine that almost appears pearled under our studio lights. And of course that paint is two-stage urethane, which means it's more brilliant and vastly more durable than the original stuff. Open that big Hemi-branded hood and you'll find an original numbers matching 426. When it comes to stuffing an engine bay, there's really nothing that can do it as well as a Hemi. From its Hemi orange paint and black wrinkle finish valve covers, to its big chrome air cleaner and optional 26-inch radiator, this car's mill is exceptionally well detailed. Someone clearly spent a lot of money making this one right. And all the details you would expect are there, including correct hoses and clamps, reproduction decals, and even the correct ballast resistor on the firewall. These cars are so well documented and the production details so thoroughly researched that there's just no excuse for not getting the basics right, and this GTX nails them all. The 727 Torque Flight Automatic is the ideal partner in a GTX. Out back there's a rugged 8 and 3 quarter inch rear end spinning 323 gears and a sure grip limited slip differential. The original floors have been finished in matching burgundy metallic paint, which is a beautiful backdrop for the nicely detailed chassis. And yes, we understand that it's probably a little too nice under there, but on a car of this caliper, that's to be expected. Inside, a lavish and well-trimmed red vinyl interior is proof that Chrysler was serious about taking the GTX upscale. The cockpit was recently restored using high-quality materials. Virtually all of its components are new, and while Mopar called it red, it's actually a well-matched maroon that perfectly complements the slick exterior panels. The seats have fresh foam and they're covered in beautiful and accurate covers, and topped with super-rare optional headrest. The dash pad has been restored and the gauges are rebuilt, including the optional tachometer nestled in a corner next to the radio, almost like it was an afterthought. And this car carries options like power windows and a rear window defroster, all of which are fully functional, along with the original Music Master AM radio with rear speaker. This GTX is a great example of exactly what Plymouth was trying to achieve in the late 60s. Luxury and performance wrapped in a handsome package. And as appealing as this killer hardtop was then, it's even more appealing now. For more information on this gorgeous Mopar and many others, call, click, or visit rkmotorscharlotte.com.